story starts when Lily was born. She was 6 pounds, 12 ounces, perfectly normal pregnancy, normal birth, normal delivery. For the first nine months of Lily's life, we assumed she could hear. We began to suspect a hearing loss at about 10 months. We did what, what every other parents did. We grabbed a pot and a wooden spoon and banged on it. Nothing. I grabbed my traffic whistle and very gently walked up behind her to where she couldn't feel the vibration and blasted my traffic whistle as loud as I could. Uh, she didn't hear any of it. So we made the appointment and we took her to Children's and we got the ABR test. And they came back and told us that she was deaf and she had a profound hearing loss. When they first told us that she was deaf, that was the first thing out of the, the lady's mouth. And after that, I didn't hear a word she said. She started using terms I'd never heard in cochlea, sensorineural hearing loss, um, different genetic terms, and she was speaking a foreign language. After we went to CID, we both knew, without even talking to each other, that it was a place for Lily. The minute we walked into CID, there's a kid that rode past us on a big wheel. He was laughing and playing and talking. The student-to-teacher ratio was very small, which we liked. As we were touring, my wife and I both started having a sense of ease. Like I said, it, it, it felt right for our family. Well, Lily had her cochlear implant six months after we found out she was deaf. I had told my husband that all I wanted to hear her say was mama. And I didn't think that I would hear it for a while. He was playing with her on Christmas Eve and looked at her and, and said, go find Mama. And she walked into the room and looked and pointed at me and said, Mama. And, and it was the best thing I ever heard in my whole life. I really credit the teaching staff at CID. They're, they're so involved with, it, with my daughter, uh, from the class time to taking her out to going to speech therapy to the home visits we were having with the speech therapist that they came twice a week. Um, I said, I, I'm convinced that's why she was speaking so fast. Lily's progress has been wonderful since she's been at CID. The speech therapists that worked with her at home were able to get a lot of language out of her. And then once she was in the preschool program, the teachers there took that foundation that she had gotten and expanded on it. She was doing two and three word sentences within her first semester. Her progress was off the charts as far as we were concerned. Good. Now what do we need? More that right here. More what? More yellow paint? Yeah. No. What do we need more of? More orange. More orange paper. Yeah, more orange paper. Yeah. Okay. How about more orange paper? How about more orange paper? Okay. I want more orange paper. You want to hold the orange paper? Yeah. Okay. The work that CID does is they take children and they give them something that everyone else in the world takes for granted without even knowing it. Something that they've had since birth. Without the programs that CID has, without the teachers, the faculty, the small class sizes, Lily wouldn't be where she is today. Pick a book. Okay, what book is that? Dog book. Oh, the dog book. Are you my mother? A mother bird sat on her egg. The egg jumped. I must get If I ever had the opportunity to talk to somebody who made a financial contribution to CID, I would I, I would thank them tremendously.
because of their donations, my daughter can learn to listen and speak. Uh, I'm a police officer. I'm not a rich man. There's no way I would be able to afford to send my daughter to CID to get an oral deaf education. It would not be possible. The most important thing I could say is thank you. If there's ever anything I could do to help those that are helping my daughter, let me know. What is Elmo doing? He washes his spoon. He washes his spoon. Very good. <laughs>